All right, today we're learning about exponents and more importantly, the rules of exponents. Um, so if you're multiplying two terms with exponents that have the same base, say both x, uh, then you add the exponents. If you are dividing terms with exponents, then subtract. If you have a power to a power or, or an exponent to an exponent, you multiply them, so a times b. If you have a negative exponent, then you flip it, all right? Same for if it's on the bottom and it has a negative exponent, then you flip it, put it up top. And anything to the power of 0 is 1. And I'm going to explain why these work this way as well. So first example, say we have x to the fourth times x squared. Really what this means is x to the fourth means x times x times x times x. And then we have x squared times x times x. There's six of them. So pretty much we can just add these numbers and we'd still get the right answer, x to the sixth. Alright, so that's why we add these when we're multiplying. Another example, two. Say we have x to the fourth over x squared. So that would be four x's all multiplying over 2x's. So we see that we can cancel two of these out. One, two. So we just have two left. Or x times x is x squared. So when we are dividing, we can think of it as canceling, but really subtracting is easier. x to the 4 minus 2 is x squared. Say so we have x cubed to the fourth power, which means x cubed times x cubed times x cubed times x cubed. So then we know since we're multiplying these, we can just add the exponents 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 is 12. So a better way of thinking about this is just multiply the 2. <laughs> x to the 12. Okay. Say we had x squared over x to the 4. So we have x to the 2 minus 4, which would be x to the negative 2. But we flip it for a specific reason. Another way of writing this is x times x over x times x times x. Oops. x times x times x times x. Two cancel out, and we're left with two on the bottom. And in math, it's more acceptable to have the positive exponents because people are used to dealing with positive exponents. So we like to write this like this instead. one more, just for explaining the rules, say we have x to the 6th over x to the 6th. Well, we know x to the 6th minus 6 gives us x to the 0, but we also know anything divided by itself is 1. So that's why x to the 0 power, anything to the 0 power is 1. Okay? Now we're going to do some harder examples. Right. So number six, here we have negative two m to the fourth times negative eight m to the sixth. Well, first you should deal with your regular numbers. This four is only going with the m. It's not going with the two. So you're not, you don't have negative two to the fourth power. It's just m to the fourth. So we multiply these first. Negative 2 times negative 8. Two negatives make a positive 16. And then we have m to the 4th times m to the 6th. Just add the exponents and you get m to the 10th. Okay. Then we have 
m to the sixth times n to the fifth times m to the fourth n p to the zero. All right, well, these are still multiplying, and we only multiply the ones that have the same base. So our m's, m times m, m to the sixth times m to the fourth, add the exponents, we get m to the tenth, n to the fifth times n. Well, really, this just has an exponent of one, so it's n to the fifth plus one is n to the sixth. And we also know anything to the zero power is one. So kind of just cancel those out. Anything to the zero power is one, so you don't need it. Next one. Say we have 18. Um, x to the eighth, y to the third, and z to the seventh over negative three, x to the second power, y to the eighth, y to the eighth, and z to the first power. Alright? First, always deal with the regular numbers. We have 18 divided by negative 3. We have positive divided by a negative. Gives us a negative 6. And then, when we're dividing, we subtract the exponent. So top minus bottom, 8 minus 2 is going to give us x to the 6th. y cubed divided by y to the 8th. 3 minus 8 is negative 5, so we get y to the negative 5. And z to the 7 minus 1. 7 minus 1 is 6. So, not done yet, because we still have a negative exponent. And we don't like using negative exponents, so what we do is we flip them. So, everything else stays up top. Anything without a, a negative exponent stays up top. So, say we have negative 6 to the first power. That stays up top. x to the 6. z also has a positive exponent. Over... And once you bring it down to the bottom, it no longer has a negative exponent, so it's just a bit power. And that would be our answer for that one. So simplify it first, subtract the exponents, and then flip everything that you need to flip. Okay. Nine. We have x to the negative 2, y to the 4th, over z to the negative 7. Nothing really to do here since these are all different bases, x, y, and z. You can't do anything with them, but you can flip the negative exponents. So our x has got to go to the bottom, and the z has got to go to the top since they have negative exponents. Um, so y to the 4th, that stays up top since it has a positive exponent. Z to the 7th is going to come up top with it. And the negative 7 becomes a positive 7. And divided by the x goes to the bottom. So we get x squared. And you can do this with regular numbers too. Last one, say we just have negative 3 to the negative 4th power. Well, first thing we do in order of operations, PEMDAS, is exponents. Press these first, but there's nothing to do in here. So do the exponent first, but we have to make that positive because we don't know what to do with the negative exponent. So to make it positive, we put 1 over negative 3 to the 4th. Negative 3 to the 4th means negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3. That's 4 negatives. 4 negatives make a positive. 3 to the 4th is 81. So this is 1 over 81. Don't need that. And that's it for today.